while. I've been back in China for almost a year now already, actually. Like 10 months, I think. Yeah. Um, so I've actually, I've been out of Japan for a while and um, I never really updated, mostly because my computer broke like twice. And when it was working, it wasn't working that well, so. And honestly, I was also just like really busy. Like I had my first semester of college in person and I have some more videos lined up and I will give a little bit of a longer life update in the next one, which will actually be an apartment hunting video because this place I'm showing you today, I've already moved out of, I just moved out of. So any of the like outdoor footage, I will not be like doxing myself because I don't live there anymore. Part of be can you just be quiet please, ma'am? Um, where was I? <laughs> but anyway, this apartment is in the Hutorings of Beijing, which is like the old city alleyway area of Beijing. It's right in the center, within the second ring. I'm talking a stroll away from the Forbidden City. So I, I'll talk more about like um, size and price and all that stuff after the tour. So this is my loft apartment and Griffey, my kitty cat. <laughs> so first here we have my kitchen. It's pretty small, but like it works for the necessary stuff. There's some pretty good storage because this place is quite small. Here we have mostly Griffey's stuff, like her litter and her food and some containers. And under here, we keep all sorts of cleaning stuff and sauces. We also have a washing machine and some more cooking stuff and dishes. We also have a sink and I put like a net in it to catch any like food that comes down here. And a window where I have my candlestick holders and some little things. And my really adorable rice cooker, look, it looks like a fox. And I usually go and like, when I wash my dishes, I dry them on here. And here's our electric range for cooking. There, there isn't any oven, we just have a stove and a thing up here that has lights. Unfortunately, as annoying as this is, it's perpetually open. Can you stop? Oh my God. Um, because there is like the vent stuff up here and we also have some tissue slash napkins and some more containers up here, but there's not like really any good storage. And then up here, we also have some more like cups and plates and no, those are not Pringles. That is a water bottle. That's Keith Emery's water bottle. He's very proud of it. And that's mine. It's Kiki's delivery service. And then I got one of these like magnetic things to hold all my stuff on so that really like storage is an issue in this place. <laughs> Cause it's only like, I think 25 square meters. So yeah, I store all my like cooking stuff out in here and seasoning back here. Usually it's over there, but we cleaned recently and then he let me put it here. And then yeah, I have a fridge. This is a upside down <laughs> card that my friend gave me for my birthday. Um, a little like eraser board and just some like cute stuff. My fridge is a mess and we have a lot of stuff that I don't like cold water, but Guillermo puts water in here because he likes cold water. Yeah. Mistake, mistake, mistake. 
this came with the apartment. All of the appliances, including the microwave, everything came with the apartment. Um, so, yeah. And I have some stuff down here in the freezer. And gray face food and water. And then here we have the living room, kind of under the stairs. Um, originally I had this bookcase over there, but Guilherme has a table, which sometimes he leaves outside, sometimes he puts it in here that he can like work at and stuff. Um, here's our TV stand, except we don't have a TV because actually we have a projector. Um, so yeah, and I kind of keep like, I keep like my jewelry and like my hair stuff over here. Um, and some like stuff I got from Gotcha Machines and yeah, some other stuff that I've just collected over time. Here's some more you know, like clips for food and some stuff I got for a book I ordered and my favorite little otter from Hokkaido. Um, and then I have some snacks up here and a soup, no, bowl cozy, soup cozy that my mom got me. She got me two actually. I have my easel in the corner and then we have like our book bags over here. Really, we just didn't have any space so we just put them there for now. And yeah, I just have a bunch of stuff like all my art stuff, some of it's like tucked under there. And then, yeah, this is the couch, it's quite small. It really only fits like two people like sitting normally, but me and Guilherme kind of like to like lay on the couch or like, yeah, so it's it doesn't work very well. <laughs> Like, it's a, it's a nice couch. It, this also came with the apartment. Same with the TV stand. Same with this little coffee table. All came with the apartment. Um, these I got from my friend who just moved. But because, like, we don't have a dining table, we will just, like, put these on the floor. Sit on them and we can, like, eat. But they also double as, like, a pillow for the couch. And then I got this table. Originally, I put my projector back here. But it was still kind of low. So now we just have this table for, like... Our electronics like we leave them there to charge and my GameCube is back here um, yeah and I have this bookcase it's really messy inside and it's kind of I got it for really cheap and I put it together myself and it's kind of lopsided and I don't think that's my fault I think it's just because it's cheap but yeah I just have mostly like art stuff and books and stuff in there Guife has a scratcher post here and then this is the bathroom I can turn on a heating light a fan of like air changing and then this is like an extra light which I have these turned on right now we will turn that off for noise and then light so yeah there's quite face litter boxes there and yes she can fit under it comfortably um, and I have a little thing so that if your feet are wet after getting out of the shower it doesn't like you know get the floor wet outside of the shower. Here's my sink. It's a sink. There's some storage under here where I keep like extra stuff and and hair dryers and stuff like that. Here's the mirror. It's like also a cabinet and it's really messy. Yeah. But yeah, we just have like our just stuff, deodorant, some toothpaste and stuff like that. The door here is like a slide door, which is very creaky. Yeah, and then we keep towels up here and toilet paper and wet wipes, except this is my last pack for now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then it's a toilet. It's like, it's got a weird thing to hold it in and it keeps sliding around. So that's not fun. Yeah, and then here's a shower. It's just like here, same level and everything. And then I just bought this curtain and curtain rod so that I can close it and shower and not get the rest of the room, room wet. And yeah. Also the water pressure was low. So I got, um, I like bought this like special water head that like makes it feel like it has better pressure. That also came with the apartment. I just didn't feel like getting rid of it. Oh, I also forgot to mention here at the entrance, um, not only do I have a little rug, but I also have this like shoe holder that I got from the same friend who gave me those pillows. <laughs> uh, 
we don't have that many shoes at least not that we wear every day so I actually use it for bags like I keep like purses up here because um, I don't actually take a backpack to school most of the time I don't really need a backpack tennis shoes we usually just keep like slipper not slippers like flip-flops things to wear outside real quick out there and tote bags for the grocery store Can you relax with me? And then we actually, because it's summer, we don't really need any heavy blankets, so our comforter and our fluffy blanket blanket is just pushed under here for now. And I have these stairs going up. Oh yeah, um, because we only have a washer, it's fairly uncommon in China to have a dryer. Um, I think that's also like kind of the same deal in like a lot of places in Asia or East Asia. So to dry our clothes, we hang them on here and then this is a little cute little sock slash underwear hanger. Here's a cat. Didn't really come with the apartment. Had to pick her up off the street myself. Right, great day. Anyway, yes, here's the upstairs. There, mortal danger here. The like metal here, like, is like broken or something. So I don't want to cut my feet. So they had this already, like, had like a piece of thing, over, like tape over this when I moved in, but it peeled up. So I replaced it with like several layers of protection because I'm so scared of like cutting my feet. That would be horrible. We have another trash can up here, and I have a bunch of clothes hang hung up here, and then this is our bed, and I have little fairy lights as you can see. Um, usually we'd have like the matching comforter on here, but since it's summer, you know. And then I have a mirror over here from the same friend who gave me all those other things. And then this is Gilarmy's. <laughs> this seems so unfair. This is Gilarmy's clothes, just this little thing because he doesn't have that much clothing. That's Goy Face Scratcher, <laughs> scratching post. And then these are my clothes and there, there's a few of his like shirts over there too. And then I have some like stuff over here for Goy to sit on. And I keep my like socks and underwear up there on top as well. And mostly dresses back here. Yeah, it's really cozy, but the unfortunate thing is, oh, and we have a light here too. Um, it gets really hot in the summer because I don't know why it just like the air doesn't flow well up here But it is nice to have a skylight over here Yeah, and I have a suitcase that I've covered with this tapestry that I have and also some of my favorite stuffed animals like my card captor Sakura plushies from Hokkaido yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That is the apartment. So that was my tiny house loft apartment thing. It's pretty cozy, isn't it? It's in the Dongsi area. And I was like right by a bunch of convenience stores and like this huge three floor grocery store. And it was just, and the subway was super close. It was just so convenient, but I'm not sure exactly how big it is. I I think it's around like 25 square meters, um, which is 270 square feet, I think. Um, it was renovated like two months before I moved in and I was paying 5,500 kwai or around 760 US dollars for it a month. And there was no management fee. Um, so it's just that and built and, you know, uh, utilities yeah so i think that's actually like a really good deal for like the center of beijing like most studio apartments in like the general main area of beijing go for at least six thousand kwai living in the hutongs i think has a bad reputation because way back when it used to be like less not very common to have like 
toilets in the houses and um, they have like a lot of public toilets and people would like use those. But nowadays that's like really rare. And when I was like looking on like the apartment apps, I think I only saw like one place like that and it goes for like peanuts that it's like, <laughs> I've already moved out now and I really did like that apartment, but I had to move. And also it was kind of getting cramped, you know, two people and a cat. So yeah. So that is all for today, my friends. I hope to see you next video. Bye bye. Hehehehe <laughs>